Thank you for tuning in to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, the show that is part of the Simply Luxurious Life online destination, cultivating true contentment, the art of living a life of quality over quantity. Visit the blog, The Simply Luxurious Life, at our simplified URL, tsll.co, or thesimplyluxuriouslife.com to find the show notes for each podcast episode, as well as much more weekly content to elevate your everyday and deepen your contentment. From a Monday motivational post, recipes, videos of the cooking show series, style and decor inspiration, French and British inspired content, and reader's favorite regular weekly post, This and That, which is posted each Friday morning. Now to today's episode. Welcome to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. I'm your host, Shannon Abels. And whether you're listening on your commute, exercising, working in the garden, or sitting down with a hot cup of tea or a cafe au lait, thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Welcome to the 342nd episode of The Simple Sophisticate. Today we're going to talk about style. In particular, we're going to talk about fall style. And I'm going to share with you 10 of the items I am wearing this fall for timeless style, but also to stay warm and cozy. But before I get into today's list, this week's petit plaisir is twofold. I have a recipe I'm excited to share with you that is simple, that is French, that involves very few ingredients. And anyway, I will get to the recipe and all the other reasons why I thoroughly am excited about this recipe, as well as I have a series, a television series that was inspired by a radio program that Anglophiles like myself might thoroughly enjoy, just as I did when I watched the first episode just a few days ago. But we have a list to go through for our fall wardrobe, and I want to get right into it. So let's do that. So these 10 items that I'm wearing this fall for Timeless Style, all are items that keep someone warm, help you cozy in. So it hits all three points, stylish, timeless in the sense that you can wear these year after year after year, which is why all of the items are going to be investment pieces, things that you just keep your eyes open for. And when you find them, maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe down the road, or maybe something you have in your closet right now, you'll know that it will last. And I, part of the inspiration for this episode is I've had listeners and readers ask or, or, or ask me to, sh- to create a post or episode sharing some of the specific items I wear, whether I'm going about my day in the office or errands or, you know, f- events in the fall season or walking my dogs because I walk my dogs constantly and I do like to look nice because I'm out there a long time and that's where I meet a lot of people. Um, but I, I definitely need it to be functional, comfortable and for the weather that I'll be walking in. So let's get into this list. Having what we need in our closet as each season changes into the next brings a peace of mind that when we reach this point with regards to our wardrobe, we forget often about how much we are freeing up our mind because we don't have to think about our clothing. And this is a very good thing. This is a this is a goal. This is an objective of why the capsule wardrobe when we know ourselves well, we know our lifestyle and what it needs, enriches our lives because it's not about the clothes directly. They are a supporting cast member that allows us to feel confident in our days, to move comfortably through the lives that we have built, that we've created, that we love living, and to engage fully. I I felt this the other day. It was it was just this past weekend um, here in October in Bend, and I had planned to go to the symphony, our local symphony, 
And I relaxed because I knew I had an outfit that was fitting for our autumnal weather here in Bend. It was timeless. It involved some new clothes, some clothes I've had for years, and it was comfortable. And upon wearing it, it eased my mind in a quiet confidence because I knew I was dressed well and respectfully for the event. It is this feeling, as I am not someone who necessarily loves the 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 pursuit of shopping or, or the activity of shopping. But what I do find pleasure in and what I do appreciate is when I do find something that fits my lifestyle that I feel good in, that I feel also good about the purchase with regards to what I've paid for, the quality, that's what I'm motivated to look for those items. So it's not me going, oh, I want to go shopping today. It's I want to find items so I can live my life well, feel confident and respectful for the event that I'm going to. And that's what guides my decisions. These three components or qualifiers that when I reach or hit or tick all three of these, nudge me to click or purchase if I'm in the store in person. And those three qualifiers or points are, hey, here comes Norman. Norman was sunbathing on the porch. We're gonna take a quick break to talk about the pups for a second. Norman's laying down. Um, in front of my desk and a little one is on my lap who was outside with Norman for a while. She's been romping and playing in the office for a good couple hours and now it's time for her early afternoon nap. Um, anyway, so back to the topic. So the three qualifiers um, that when I tick these, I will make the purchase. And part of the reason I have to wait for these three to be ticked is because these are investment pieces. These are not uh, small, cheap items they're gonna take a chip out of my budget for the month. And I wanna make sure that it's something that will hold its weight, that will be around for many seasons and that I will like wearing. Here they are, has to be high quality. If it's gonna be an investment piece, so well-made. Has to fit my lifestyle and my personal style. And it has to function well for the activities I will be wearing it for. And so in today's list, I am sharing with you items that I would wear to say the symphony. I'll, I'll share with you what that outfit was as we go through today's chat. But also, you know, some, my days every day involve a walk, as I mentioned at the top of this podcast. So I ha it has to function well. It has to make me feel comfortable, but also cover um, my ankles, my, my wrists, my ears, whatever it might be, um, in a way that also allows me to move really well. So this is a mix and match of, of different activities that you might engage in throughout your autumn schedule. So let's talk about these 10 items that nearly all of them I have specifically. So I've shopped these items on the show notes and you can check out the show notes at the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast 342. And other items I've included are ones I don't have, but they look like or they resemble or they're from a brand that I trust. And I'll share with you as we go through this list, which ones those are. Number one, is the oversized blazer or jacket. Now, if it's a blazer, it's going to be something that I'm wearing inside. So I would have worn an overcoat to wherever I'm going to get to this um, event. But I also will be wearing and do wear oversized jackets. And that would be kind of a great transitional outerwear piece um, that also looks good. Um, maybe I'll wear it on a walk, but maybe I'll also wear it to do my errands and go about town. And I like layers in fall. I think that's something that all of us, um, we've talked about often here on the podcast and also on the blog. But when I have an oversized blazer, I can wear a fine knit cashmere sweater or I can wear a camisole depending on the event. If I'm going to be indoors the whole time, I'm going to wear a light camisole underneath and maybe a heavier blazer. But then I can wear a scarf um, to for warmth, but also for style, whether it's a silk scarf or if it's a really warm day, but clearly fall, there's a nip in the air, I'll wear a cashmere scarf um, if I don't need an overcoat. And so I've shopped theory uh, on this item for you. It is a wool till black blazer that's belted. So it hits just a little bit below the hip. And I have their white silk blazer that is the same style. I love it. I wore it this spring and this summer. 
but they have a black one that's the same style but made of wool and twill and I highly recommend this style. The sleeves were long enough for me. I have very long arms um, and it's at a fairly reasonable price too. So that's Theory's oversized uh, blazer. Um, not too oversized actually, but it's uh, belted so it allows you to have a sweater underneath if you need to. And I've also included a quilted coat that has a corduroy trimmed collar and the quilted effect makes for me makes it very classic very English and it hits not at the waist um, but just at the hip and it has a great traditional style um, straight so it's not it's not contoured at the waist um, but this might be something you would wear with a straight jean or a skinny leg jean and uh, a sweater underneath would definitely work here. But it looks perfect for fall, walking through the leaves uh, with your wellies on, with your boots on, um, and it's in a light beige color. And I've included that one too. So that's the first item. I always have blazers or jackets. I have a lot of jackets that hit just below the waist, so at the hip, that are belted, so trenches, things like that, that work well for every day, but sometimes in the evening if it's a more casual event. The second item I am wearing constantly, in fact, I'm wearing one right now, is an oversized pullover sweater. Um, the one I'm wearing now is cashmere. If you can find cashmere, a quality cashmere, I highly recommend that. So warm, so cozy. I could live in this sweater. I could sleep in this sweater. But there are all sorts of different materials you could use. And I've shopped a few different materials for our, the post today. Merino wool, even cotton. Banana Republic actually has a handful of great sweaters at reasonable prices that are pullovers. They have one that's a wool blend. Um, it's a half zip sweater and I actually included it in last Friday's This and That. It's in two different colors. But then they also, Banana Republic also has a cashmere collection and they have what they call a sweater polo. But I would call it a pullover. It's oversized. It's V-neck, has a big collar and you could wear something underneath it if you wanted to, thus the oversized, um, but you don't have to. And that comes in four different colors. So those are both fairly reasonably priced. Um, La Line has some cotton pullover sweaters that have a zipped collar and a big co um, collar at the neck. Um, and they're very oversized. And this one is in stripes. And I've shopped a few more, some from Suzanne. And they're a bit more feminine, ones made out of mohair. Um, but the idea is these are very casual, but if you buy the right neckline for yourself and the right color, it's really complimentary for your face. And thus it's comfortable, but it's also complimentary and timeless. Um, so that's number two. I'm wearing a lot of pullover sweaters, oversized pullover sweaters. Number three, is the Chelsea boot or a booty with a heel. So they go above and over the ankle so that your ankles are covered, but these are not the knee boots. Um, and they're a thick heel. These are not thin heels, although I do have some with more stiletto heels, and I think that's a good idea too for more dressed up events if you still want your ankles covered. Stuart Weitzman has a couple of different styles that I've included here. The Yulana and their stretch booty. And they come in a couple different styles and they're all suede. Some are two inches, some are two and a half. I think there's even one with a three inch. Um, but I've shopped more than a few on this one. I really like this boot for wearing with a straight leg jean that hits at the ankle. Keeps your ankle covered. You wear your jean, you get a little lift, add an oversized sweater. Um, your winter coat and a scarf and you look good, you're comfortable and you're warm. So that's, that's a definite boot to have in the closet for me this year. Number four, something I just started wearing just this week as the temperatures in the morning were a little chillier, are cashmere gloves. Um, in fact, the ones I have are ones I purchased last year. They are fold back gloves and they're still available from theory at a very reasonable price, less than a hundred dollars. And, um, they are warm. They have a long wrist, so they go way up your, I have not way up, but further than just at the wrist, which I love, um, because I have again, long arms. Sometimes my coats, you know, move and mush on me. So <laughs> as I'm walking the dogs, 
But I really like these. They've held up well. I wore them all last year and I'll be wearing them again this year. So that's uh, cashmere gloves. And they look nice too. They're not big and bulky. Number five on our list today. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for. Number five and number six are both things that I wear when I'm walking. But again, I don't want to look frumpy. I want to look picked up clean because I go when I go for a walk before or after the walk I'll go do some errands I'll maybe pick up something in the grocery store pop into the post office drop off a package that needs to be shipped maybe pop in to see my friend um, at the studio uh, at Veronique so I do more than just walk in my outfits and I want to look cleaned up and decent and in Bend that's part of what a lot of people wear anyway but It's also something I want to be aware of um, and how nice I look. So this is a contour down coat. And I picked this up uh, last fall, actually, from Lululemon. And they have them available in four different colors. And I've included the black one and the wine or Merlot colored one on the show notes. This is for under $200. I think it's $198. They actually have a hood as well, but you can detach that. So if you don't need a hood, you can take it off. And it doesn't even look like you have a hood um, detached. So it's not one of those things where it looks odd without it. It's actually a very thin, fine coat, but it is down and it keeps me so warm. It has very long uh, arms. And what I mean by contour is it goes with your shape. It's not going to be straight. It's not going to be bulky, but it is, it is, and it goes below your waist a little bit too. I walk in this all winter long and I just started wearing it last week on my walks with, with the pups. So that is the contour down coat. And when we come back, I have a few sponsors I want to introduce you to, but when we come back, I'll share with you the other item that I haven't ever shared before that I have been wearing for now four, maybe five years. It's lasted that long. I absolutely love it. And um, if it ever runs out, I'm glad this brand still makes it because it's high quality. Anyway, I'll be back to share with you what that item is for number six on our list. Sophisticate is sponsored by Bombas. Bombas mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bombas, you are also giving to someone in need. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options like comfy performance styles made with sweat wicking yarns, which means your feet stay cool while the rest of you works up a sweat. Bombas t-shirts are made with thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. And did you know that socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters? That's why Bombas donates one for every item you buy. So far, Bombas customers like you have helped donate over 50 million items of essential clothing. For Simple Sophisticate listeners, you can go to bombas.com slash sophisticate and use promo code sophisticate to get 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash sophisticate and use promo code sophisticate at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's bombas.com slash sophisticate code sophisticate. The Simple Sophisticate is also sponsored by Uncommon Goods. If you want to avoid boring, basic, and bland gifts this year, Uncommon Goods is your secret weapon. Uncommon Goods is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for your secret Santa or your entire family, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. In fact, if you have gardeners on your list, be sure to check out Uncommon Goods. I found a beautiful ceramic handmade hummingbird feeder that will complement your garden and also be a unique feature for your hummingbirds to enjoy their treats. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not just the same lackluster gifts you could find just about anywhere. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give back $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than two and a half million dollars to date. 
As a simple, sophisticated listener, you can get 15% off your next gift. Go to uncommongoods.com slash sophisticate. That's uncommongoods.com slash sophisticate for 15% off. Don't miss out on this unlimited time offer. Uncommon Goods. We're all out of the ordinary. The Simple Sophisticate is also sponsored by Apostrophe. If you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to find the best skincare product to work with your skin for what you want to improve about it, I can relate and I have a feeling you can or someone in your family can as well. As a teenager, especially when I was trying to figure out how to combat acne, Knowing exactly what to purchase was confusing, if not impossible to find. Finding skincare products that actually work for you is complicated, and that's why I'm excited to partner with Apostrophe, the sponsor of today's episode. Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you with an expert dermatology team to get customized acne or improve the quality of your skin when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles. Simply fill out an online consultation about your skin goals and medical history, then snap a few selfies and a board-certified dermatologist will create your first customized treatment plan. Apostrophe offers access to treatments for all types of skincare, from hormonal acne to facial acne. They treat breakouts from head to toe. So what are your skincare goals? I went through the consultation in fewer than two to three minutes, shared what my skincare goals were, reduction of fine lines, improving my skin quality, And after a few quick selfie pics that I could take either on my phone or even directly on the computer or my iPad as they provide a camera right there on their website, I had expert care looking into what would be tailored best for me. What I received was a particular percentage of retinol cream to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and I received sunscreen. I had been using their retinol to great effect and have been impressed with the quality that works with what I wanted to happen in my skin. I look fresher, I feel more radiant, and it was tailored to my skin. I have a special deal for the Simple Sophisticate listeners. Get your first visit to Apostrophe for only $5 at apostrophe.com slash sophisticate when you use promo code sophisticate. That's a savings of $15. This code is only available to the Simple Sophisticate listeners. To get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash sophisticate and click begin visit. Then use the promo code sophisticate at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $5. That's apostrophe.com slash sophisticate. Welcome back. So today I'm sharing with you the 10 items I'm wearing this fall for timeless style, but also to stay warm and cozy. And as I mentioned before the break, number six is an item I've never shared before, but I wear constantly. I've been wearing it since I believe it was the winter of 2017, 2018. And it's my leggings that I wear when I walk Norman in the fall. Um, Often what I wear in the winter too, it depends on how cold it is outside. But these are my high rise leggings. And the reason I like these is they have pockets. And what I mean by pockets is the pocket is on the side of the thigh. They don't look bulky. They look, you don't even know that you have pockets until you need to use them. And what I do is I stick my cell phone in there. And it fits seamlessly and easily. And you don't even know your cell phone's there. Sometimes I forget about it. Um, There are actually three different lengths. And these are also from Lululemon. And they have all sorts of colors on this one. But the key thing with this one is that it has pockets. And actually even has a pocket behind the waist and the back um, for your keys or something like that. You maybe your earbuds or AirPods, whatever you need. So that's number six. And again, that's something. And they're a little thicker too, at least the ones I have. I don't know if the... That was, again, purchased four or five years ago. But the ones I have are a little bit thicker than your traditional leggings. But they're still Lycra-like and um, really comfortable. So that's number six. Number seven, going back to the two style for events and indoor activities, this is one of the items I wore to the symphony. And knowing I had it in my closet, ah, this gave me a great peace of mind. I love this skirt. It's a mid midi length straight skirt. That has a high waist, not extremely high, but it's so it's that belted at the waist. And this one is from Reese, and it's actually on sale now. It's in ba- it's available in two colors. One's camel, which I wore, and they also have ivory. And it has a little give, and it's buttoned up the front. 
and then it also comes with a belt and it has pockets which is really nice but it's still very slim and it looked very nice I just tucked in a silk blouse and I wore my tall dark brown knee-high boots and um, it worked really well but again I think it's only a hundred and forty dollars right now on sale and the ivory is 123 right now on sale so that's Reese's Danny Button Up Slip Skirt. And there's also another skirt that I am going to be purchasing here pretty soon. And I have a promo code for you if you'd like to buy it. But it's also midi length. It is a crimped wool midi skirt in navy. It's from Vince. And I've put the promo code to save you $50 on the show notes. The simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast three. 42 and I love this skirt because it's a neutral color again it's midi length and it's forgiving so you can move in it be comfortable if you're sitting down for a long time but it's a dark color so it's very slimming um, anyway so I've, I've included that one too but I, I do like midi skirts for a different option from pants if I don't want to wear pants and because they're midi I just pair them with a knee-high boot that goes underneath them. Or if I'm not going to be outside barely at all, I put a nice heel with them, and I love them. Uh, it's a look that works well. So that's number seven. Number eight is something we wear year-round, but specifically in the fall and winter is a scarf or many scarves for warmth while walking or errands or traveling on the plane, on the train, or in the car going to and fro. And I highly recommend... Eric Pompard, the French company, Eric, Eric Pompard's cashmere scarves. I included their voile scarf here in ivory, which is a great neutral color to lighten the face up, um, but also to pair with so many different um, colors. And that's at a $150 price tag for their voile cashmere scarves. But they have so many other scarves in cashmere, um, thicker ones, bigger ones, things like that. And I have scarves hanging everywhere in my house. I have two hooks by either door that I go out when I go walking or go into my car. And my scarves rotate seasonally. And now I have my, my warmer scarves on those hooks versus my cotton ones and linen ones that I've had during the summer. And number nine is not a wardrobe item per se, but it is an item for, the, from, for accessories. Um, I've, I've been using my crossbody bag uh, a lot. And it's perfect for errands and ease of shopping. But it's smaller than my typical handbag, my shoulder bag. And so my wallet doesn't fit in these uh, this uh, crossbody bag I have. So I've been having to search for a small wallet. And I wanted a high quality one that would hold all the cards um, that I have or need to carry with me, some cash. But really not much more than that. Um, and so I went and, and shopped a little bit on different high quality sites and I went to YSL or Saint Laurent and their quilted Gabby small envelope wallet, not the one that accordions out because that one's almost double the price, but just their small envelope wallet is a great purchase, well made, and it will hold exactly that and fit inside a crossbody bag. So I've included that here. They have a couple different styles, not just the Gabby, but other ones that have the same size. So if you want a different size, maybe no quilting, but you still like their product, you can peruse those. And I like having those for, um, you know, say you just need to carry something small real quick to run in and out of the store. That's something that um, would do that as well. So that's number nine. Number 10, and I guess that's fall for me because again, um, when I'm doing winter activities and whatnot, I have a, a lot of bulky clothing on if I'm coming off the mountain or if I'm just bulked up because I'm staying warm, <laughs> going to an errands, having a big bulky purse on top of that is kind of a pain. And so this makes it really simple to put in my pocket or to again, put in my crossbody bag. And last but not least, let's get back to some clothing items here is number 10. And something I have been enjoying wearing for many years and continue to do so and continue to shop for these items is an oversized either v-neck or turtleneck sweater with straight leg high waisted jeans and I've shifted from the skinny jeans I still have my skinny jeans and I'll still wear them but I'm wearing more straight leg high waisted jeans or slim 
uh, jeans um, that aren't as tapered at the ankle. And I've included two different ideas here for you. Um, I have a sweater from Joseph that is uh, black and white and has a, it's oversized, long sleeves, big turtleneck. And it's actually merino wool and it's on sale. It's on sale. It's from Net-A-Porte. And pairing that with a light black pair of jeans that are straight leg, high rise, organic jeans, and they too are on sale. Put this together. You could do it with a flat or you could do it with a boot, a Chelsea boot. And it's comfortable, it's stylish, flattering, choosing the sweater color that complements your skin tone. And it's timeless. It's absolutely timeless. So that's the list of 10 items that I am wearing on repeat constantly this fall. I've already started wearing them and I wore them a lot of these last year, but some of them I've updated as, as I mentioned, the Chelsea boot I've updated, um, the pullover I've updated and the wallet I've updated. But these are items that when you find what works for you, that fits you, the color, the style, the size, you're going to wear these again and again and again. And with that outfit I wore to the symphony, the boots I wore, I've had those for over hmm, eight years. That silk blouse I wore, I've had that for over five years. The only thing that was new was a skirt. And the skirt is what I needed. I did not have something like that. So it's finding the pieces you already have and asking yourself, what am I missing here to make this timeless, comfortable, and cozy? And you probably have more in your closet than you realize. And gradually you'll find that you have everything you need, just knowing what it is that makes you feel most confident and your best self and enables you to live the life you love living. So hopefully today's post or an episode inspired some ideas there. And you can shop all of those items on the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast 342. Again, each of the items in today's list are merely an idea of inspiration as components of what creates the foundation for a fall wardrobe to fit, in my case, my day-to-day schedule and events. And maybe some of those events are similar to what you do as well. Over the years, my style hasn't changed tremendously, but what I have noticed in the last couple of years is that it has become more honed as I become more clear and thus become more confident to invest in those high quality items that I will reach for again and again, year after year. Whether going about my daily work, attending an event indoors, or walking my dogs outside in the chillier weather, I feel comfortable in what I am wearing on a variety of levels. And I hope you do too with the clothing you have in your closet. Wishing you a stylish autumn season. And again, you can check out that list. I've shopped more items than I talked about um, on today's episode. So be sure to stop by the show notes because I have shopped more sweaters, more skirts. So you can really just peruse um, in more detail when you visit the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast 342. And I'll be back with this week's Petit Plaisirs 2. <laughs> I'll see you in just a second. So I have two petite plaisirs for you because I couldn't choose. <laughs> One was on my list to share with you for a couple of weeks now. And I, I just couldn't not include it. It was too delicious. And the other, I just came across it. And as soon as I saw it, I said, this is a show for the listeners of the podcast and the blog. You all would really appreciate it, I think. So let me first begin with the recipe for the um, the petit plaisir that I have been wanting to share with you for a while. So a couple of weeks ago, I shared with uh, readers on the This and That, the Friday This and That, a cookbook by Alexandra Crapanzano. And it's a new cookbook out for those who enjoy French baking. It's called Ghetto, The Surprising Simplicity of French Cakes. And I received this as a review copy back in September. And I was immediately impressed. And I received quite a few review copies of different books um, because of what I do and very few of them make it to the blog and, and even fewer make it as a petite plaisir. This book is worth purchasing just, I guess we have three petite plaisirs today. If you love French, sim- simple French classic cake recipes. Um, Carbenzano has done a lot of research and homework. She's been in the industry for quite some time and it's a beautiful read as well. Anyway, the first recipe she shares right out of the gate is for the classic yogurt cake recipe. So gâteau à yogurt. And 
she then shares a handful, more than a handful of variations on this. One is for um, almond yogurt cake. Then she has uh, yogurt cake with pears, uh, lemon verbena, peach yogurt cake, yada, yada, yada. It goes on and on and on. Orange, um, orange blossom and honey. But the one I was drawn to and the one I immediately made was the citron. So with lemon, yogurt and lemon cake. And it is the simplest cake to make. And I've made it twice now. And she actually shares uh, three different measurements. I love this. She shares, because in France, uh, French yogurt is sold in little half cup jars. And these, as she says, are jars to serve as the measuring cups for this recipe. So if you you, if you are French, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But in the recipe book, she shares the measurements by the jar amounts, which are half a cup, or by a cup, or by the gram, or the weight. And so all you need for ingredients is one half cup of whole plain yogurt, one cup of granulated sugar, three large eggs at room temp. She's adamant about the room temp, and she explains why in the introduction a half a cup of neutral oil. I use grapeseed oil. You can use canola oil. You can also use sunflower oil. Two teaspoons of baking powder, and then one and a half cups of all-purpose flour or cake flour. I like to use pastry flour for this. And then for the citron, all you do is add the zest of one lemon, and then you reserve the lemon juice for the glaze that you will make with convection sugar. Um, to drizzle over it when it comes out of the oven. That's it. It is such a simple recipe. Um, oh, and you bake it. <laughs> you bake it for 35 to 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Now I cooked this or baked this, excuse me, in a French cake pan, which means you'll see. Um, actually, I'll make sure. I don't think I have a picture of it on the on the on the original recipe um, card, but I'll put a picture of it on the Petit Plaisir post. It's it's narrower and taller. It makes the edges so much more crispy. And you can buy a bunch of different lengths um, for this. And mine was about eight inches long. And then it's only about three inches wide. And I included the link where you can purchase all of the different sizes from, yes, the best cooking shop or cooking supply shop in Paris, E. de la Reine. You can buy directly from them online. And um, I purchased that this spring and I love it. It was perfect for this cake. And in my cake pan, I did have to cook it for 45 minutes, um, but it kept it moist as well. Anyway, just something to make it even more French, I guess. But she has the recipe for a classic uh, American cake tin that is eight and a half by four and a half inches. So this is, again, her yogurt and citron cake. And the cookbook is Gâteau, The Surprising Simplicity of French Cakes by Alexandra Capanzano. And this came out just this past September. Highly recommend you picking it up. has beautiful illustrations in it. And every classic French cake you could imagine, whether for every day, like the yogurt cake, but you can also find the recipe for the special holiday cakes, um, the Bouche Noel, and all of those fun specialties. You can make them in your own kitchen. All right, that recipe will be on the Petit Plaisir post, so just click through, which will be linked on the show notes for this episode if you'd like to check it out, the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast 342, or you can go directly to this post and this recipe, which will also be in the recipe section of the blog. Um, just click on desserts, but the URL is the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash pp342 yogurt cake citron or the simply luxurious life.com slash pp342. And our second petit plaisir is a British television series starring Nicola Walker. And I may remember in September for episode 339, Nicola Walker was a st- starring in one of the petit plaisirs I shared there called The Split. Well, she is now starring in, or she has been starring in a British series called Annika, A-N-N-I-K-A. And it just premiered on Masterpiece Mystery, PBS Masterpiece Mystery this past Sunday. And there are six episodes in the first 
season. And what I, I watched the first episode, which you can watch for free. You can watch the first episode for free. I watched that one on Amazon Prime. But then after the first one, then you have to pay to stream Masterpiece Mystery. But before I get into what I enjoyed about it, so this originally aired in Britain in 2021, but it was actually inspired from a radio program on BBC Radio 4, which premiered in 2013. And there are 31 audio episodes of this character, Anika, a fictional uh, inspector or detective. And Nicola Walker is the voice of Annika in the radio version, as well as starring in the TV version that is that has its first season already complete and the second season has been confirmed, which I'm excited about. Um, so what's this about? So she stars as the main lead, Annika, and she in the TV series, it's set in Glasgow. And she is part of the Marine Homicide Unit because they are near the water there in Glasgow, Scotland, actually a river that leads out into the sea and into the ocean. She is the newly hired detective inspector of this homicide unit there at the, at the MHU. And she has just been transferred here from um, Norway with her young teenage daughter. She's not married. She never was married. And the difference between the TV and the radio series is that in the radio series, it's actually reversed. She's living in Oslo, Norway, doing this job um, and comes from Glasgow. And so they flipped it around for the TV series, which I felt was interesting. And she does reference that they came from Norway in the TV series. Okay. So what makes this series fascinating? Yes, they're solving murders, but it is called Annika. It's not called, you know, Annika's mysteries or, you know, things like that because it's about her and she tells the story and the creator of the radio series in adapting it because he still plays he was the creator of the tv series as well because of the radio series has her breaking the fourth wall throughout a great deal of each of these episodes in fact it starts with her breaking the fourth wall what, what we mean by breaking the fourth wall is she talks directly to you the viewer and she has a wonderful sense of subtle humor and Nicola Walker, as I mentioned, she was starred in The Split. She starred in The Last Tango, um, Halifax. She stars in, in Unforgotten. And um, she's received many different awards. She's a wonderful actor um, for different roles, leading roles in so many different types of stories. She's quite the chameleon in that way, which speaks to her talent. So... You have her in this first episode. There's a parallel to Moby Dick and Ahab with the TV series written by Nick Walker, as well as the radio series. If there were 31 episodes in the radio series, clearly there's an audience for it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's many more seasons of the TV series. And I look forward to watching more episodes in this first season, of which there are six. So here is the trailer for Annika season one. Someone made a choice about whether the person on this boat should live or die. And I only get called out for the second thing. I'm DI Annika Strandhead. I know you weren't expecting to start for another week, but our early morning body waits for no man. She was in the water for about two hours, so she'd have been killed at around 8 p.m., possibly earlier. Is that your daughter? Yeah, I'd introduce you, but... We just had the only suspect killed. Yeah. Would it be helpful to talk to someone? That would be good. The mother. At least now you can put a, a, a face to the source of the trauma. We're just trying to clear this whole thing up for everyone's sake. Do you have the boat? I mean, we've certainly got the crime scene. It's just, you know, in a billion pieces. Are you worried? Something bad will happen to your mother? She loves her job. She loves you too. So obviously we're all thrilled about the body count doubling. Anyone near to being arrested? Yeah, she made some enemies. Well, she definitely made one. He was found with some stones from your quarry. I'd say they're more like Nordic love tokens. What do you think? 
Somebody's working really hard to conceal where the money's from. In the building's car park, he had a flashy car too. We've got motive, we've got a suspect who's done a runner, and we've got DNA. What else do we need? So I had a dream about a bridge last night. It got washed away by the river. It could signify inner conflict, intimations of doom, imminent catastrophe. What if I said I had a dream about a cat? And then you're fine. Call me Annika. So Nicola Walker stars as the detective chief inspector Annika Stranded. And as you saw there, the beginning and at the end, she's breaking that fourth wall. There is subtle humor, sarcasm, and just a bit of more personalization so that it really brings the viewer into her space. As you heard there, she also has a teenage daughter who they are very close, but as she is discovering Annika she's figuring it out as she goes but she's doing her best and with a loving heart and I just think you will genuinely enjoy this series it is available now to watch on PBS Masterpiece Mystery or if you are watching this in Britain it is already aired and it aired last fall so all six episodes of season one are available for you the series is called Annika created by Nick Walker and written by Nick Walker. No relation to Nicola Walker. So this week we have two petite plaisirs. I do hope you enjoyed this week's petite plaisirs where each week ideas are shared to make the everyday all the more enjoyable. Tune in at the end of each episode where I'll recommend a book, a film, a show, a recipe, anything that is a simple pleasure to satiate your sophisticated taste. Thank you very much for tuning in today and I'll be back with a new episode on Wednesday, November 2nd. Until then, I'll see you on the blog. Bonjour. Thank you for tuning in to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. For more ideas and inspiration throughout the week, visit the blog, The Simply Luxurious Life, with the shortened URL, tsll.co, or thesimplyluxuriouslife.com. For more in-depth exploration of how to cultivate your own unique, simply luxurious life, pick up my new book, which became both a bestseller and number one new release in France Travel, The Road to Le Papillon, Daily Meditations on True Contentment, available in all four formats for your preferred reading or listening. My first book, titled Choosing the Simply Luxurious Life, and my second book, Living the Simply Luxurious Life, are also available in each of the four formats. Readers can now join the more intimate, the Simply Luxurious Life international community by becoming members of the blog, which offers the benefits of ad-free reading site-wide, unlimited access and exclusive access to content on the blog, such as the monthly A Couple Moments with Shannon video chat, tours of my home Le Papillon, the monthly What Made Me Smile post, and monthly Ponderings post, as well as the exclusive opportunity to enter all of the giveaways during the annual French and British Weeks. To stay caught up on all things Simply Luxurious, the podcast, blog posts, the cooking show, and receive exclusive news, as well as an extra dose of inspiration to jumpstart each new month, subscribe to the Simply Luxurious Live's free monthly newsletter, arriving on the last day of each month in your inbox. There is also a weekly newsletter, which is also free, and arrives each Friday to keep you caught up on the recent weekly posts on the blog. Enjoy with a hot cuppa or cup of morning coffee, and stay in the know about all things Simply Luxurious. Look for two new episodes of this podcast on the first and third Wednesday of each month. And until next time, I'm your host, Shannon Abels. Thank you for tuning in. Bonjour.